Jessica West with XCore Fashion TV. Um, I have a real treat here for you today. And um, we're speaking with Susan Hillary, the director of Pratt and the Hat, and Frances Pratt, who is the subject of the film, and she also acts in the film. So welcome and thank you both for being here with us today. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Well, I don't even really know where to begin. Um, this was such a powerful film. And um, Susan, I guess let's start with you. And how did you, how did the film come to be? What happened was I saw Frances across a crowded room wearing her amazing hats. It was a political dinner. Everyone was like drab and boring. And there was Frances, a shining jewel in the middle, a colorful jewel in the middle of this, you know, sea of gray. And I just saw her and I walked up to her and I um, asked her if I could take her picture. It started as being, I just want to do stills of her and her hats. And she graciously said yes. It turns out she's an old friend of my parents. So oh, I didn't really know Frances very well, but I knew she was a big leader in the civil rights movement and a, a very big leader in our community. Wow. So I was very honored that she was willing to let me take stills of her. Okay. And then it, and then it evolved into, um, as she started talking and she, her, her, her words of wisdom, her pearls of wisdom, I realized that we had to make a film out of it and it had to be something more than just stills. And that's how yes. we Well, I felt honored to have seen it, to, to like see the work and see the story. So, um, okay, well tell us, Francis, um, gosh, tell us about your hats. In the film, you said you have a hundred of them and you were being modest. Well, my husband, when he first met me, he used to try to make my hats, but I could tell that they had been made. So I didn't feel comfortable wearing them, but I didn't want to hurt him by not wearing them. If I would take a trip from New York back to South Carolina where I was born, he would surprise me with a hat that I had never seen. And he would put it in a box. And when I got to South Carolina, I would come back from South Carolina wearing that hat. And he would be at the airport standing there with the camera just admiring me as if I was just his new bride. Oh, that's so precious. And he made you into a style icon, I think. Yes. Now, Susan, when you were breaking down the parts of Francis' life, how did you, there's so much, how did you decide on what to focus on? She's the most active person on the planet. She goes to meetings constantly. Her current life is very busy. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to focus on that. I want to just really simplify her story and tell it as straightforward as possible and really use the hats as the way to keep the audience engaged. Of all these beautiful colors and sculptural shapes and just simply tell her story and why she became the activist she became. And, you know, how she got there. And Frances has a way of telling her story that's so um, direct and clear. That's incredible. And I love the way that you put in the photographs, too, from different points in her life as well. Right. Um, now, Frances, when something that really struck me in the beginning is you said that church was one of the only places that Black women could be themselves. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you meant with that statement? In other words, back in South Carolina, where I was born, segregation was permanent. There was nothing that a person, Black person could do that would have any respect or be recognized. So the only time we could display our dignity would be in the church. That's when we felt like we were a part of the human kind and could say something without being punished for what we say. So we took advantage of all of that and we wore the best that we had, which wasn't that much, 
But what we had, it was clean and iron pressed and crystal clear. And we made a statement. We're having a situation now where students wanted to show a film in the school on Black Lives Matters. And the superintendent and some of the authorities are not allowing them to show this film. But that film might not be shown, but they gonna come up with something instead. In other words, we are not gonna stop until we come to a conclusion of this matter. Like the simplest wisdom, but so profound. Well, it's such an honor for you to be here with us today. And thank you for sharing all of this, this wisdom that we all need so much. This is Jessica West with XCore Fashion TV in Scottsdale, Arizona. Today I'm talking with um, Susan Hillary, the director of Pratt and the Hat. And Francis Pratt, the star of the show. <laughs>